Okay, so now we'll talk about uh, the uh, API documentation uh, which is provided by uh, Memcast. We'll see what are all the methods available uh, and then uh, we'll discuss about them. So this is the URL where you can basically get the uh, Java API doc. So I already opened that. So if you see, uh, it has it has basically told us uh, the basic use, like how we made the connection um, Memcast client to the uh, Memcast server, and then uh, from the client itself, we can call the set as well as uh, get methods. One of the advanced uses of uh, Memcast it has told like suppose uh, the service is quite hanging and it is not, it is not responding in time then uh, probably uh, you should not keep on waiting and uh, you should uh, try some other sources to get the data. So here we have found the uh, Memcast client and then and instead of getting we will we'll plan it to fetch as the async get. The async get basically uh, doesn't which is directly but it can wait for some time it doesn't throw exception at the time so uh, the future object will set the timeout say so, uh, we have set as the timeout as 5 seconds so as soon as uh, uh, basically it waits for 5 seconds only but uh, if the uh, time gets over then it will throw an exception and it will cancel, the, can cancel its request so in this way uh, your application will not hang and uh, uh, it will basically uh, continue peacefully We'll see what are all the uh, methods uh, available. So see, there are several methods. One of these is add. Add is basically uh, add is the just uh, you are passing the key value and expiration time. So there is another overridden add method where you can pass the transfer dates also. You have append with append method which appends data to an existing data. Similarly, there are several others. I'll, I'll just cover the uh, important ones. Like if you see, say, uh, async get, async get gets the given key as soon as me, and default decoding is default encoder. So, in the advanced view, we already discussed this. Async get bulk. Uh, basically, this this should be used when uh, you know lots of uh, you want to fetch the data for lots of keys at a time. So instead of fetching uh, is data one by one it, it is always great that uh, uh, you make a collection of that and then uh, use the async get bulk or get bulk method so that uh, basically the number of uh, connections would be used only one and you'll keep the all the data and then later you can iterate it so the uh, uh, bulk get or async get bulk can be used for that there are several basically utility methods async async increment so it basically just uh, increases the uh, value by by one. Similarly, dec decrement it decreases the value by one. Delete key is used to remove the uh, data from the memcache for a particular key. Yes, flush is the important one. So flush basically uh, deleted all the data from the cache. Or flush uh, in delay you can use. Basically, it will flush the whole time which is present on cache after a certain interval of time. Get method is, is to fetch the data. Get available servers will tell you about what are all, how many uh, servers or memcache servers are present to whom your client is connected. Get bulk, like I already told you in the get async get bulk. Similarly, get bulk is basically synchronous call and it will fetch the data in, in, in the bulk mode you can pass in the in the form of collection or in the form of variable arrays both are, both are nothing but the same get stats is one of the important method where you can get the basically stat statistical information of uh, memcache again these are similar increment decrement prepend replace and uh, shutdown is the method which is called when you are done with your task then you can call the uh, shutdown of the client and uh, it will shut down the memcache client so that the connection will be closed you can also specify the timeout time after uh, which uh, after the basically 
सेट डाउन दिस क्लाइंट ग्रेसफुल फुली ग्रेसफुली सपोज दिस यो मैम कैसे मैम कैसे इज ऑलरेडी बेसिकली देयर इज सम कनेक्शन इज ऑलरेडी कनेक्टेड मैम कैसे एंड डू सम टास्क देन यू शुड नॉट स्टॉप इट एट टाइम लेट इट फिनिश इट सो इफ यू वांट टू स्टॉप योर मैम कैसे ग्रेसफुली देन यू कैन इजीली यूज दिस फीचर सो दीस आर ऑल द फीचर्स मेथड्स प्रोवाइडेड बाय मैम कैसे एपीआई यू कैन यू कैन गो थ्रू दिस टॉक एंड बेटर यूटिलाइज इट Uh, so we have we are we are almost done about uh, what about all about the memcast what are the features how can we connect from the database uh, can we connect it from from the java source uh, as well as whether what is the basically api available so if you want to basically learn more you can just join uh, connect to my basically uh, website that is uh, learnjavagt.com and uh, you can get more info about that uh, so there you can basically join the facebook page uh, the link provided there Additionally, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel so that if there are any future <coughs> tutorials or videos are added, then probably you'll, you'll be get notified and you'll be up to you'll be uh, up to date on that. Uh, last but but not the least, these are the references which I have used. Uh, I went through these doc these documents and uh, prepared the videos for you. So you uh, for more information, you can go through these uh, just the uh, URLs. and have more understanding of the webcasting you can also drop uh, your questions on on my website and then i'll be happy to help on that so thanks for watching this video